we can think about this more positively, actually, if we think about something that was said to me once by Josh Kay, whom I hope you all get to take at some point. And I think he got this from one of his friends who's a professional writer. And it goes something like this. So Mr. Rieger, read it for us. It can really help your career if you know your way around a sentence. Just think about the value you could add to any organization if you know how to be good with work. And so this is an ability that trumps your grades, that trumps your pedigree. It trumps a lot of things that in your mind may think like this is out of my control. This is something that in your control. That's why we want to invest a lot of time. In. And to illustrate just how important and just how valuable this kind of investment can be, we can stick with Josh K and pose this hypothetical. So Josh K works here in the Child Advocacy Law Clinic. And sometimes they hire first year students to work in the clinic during the summer. So Mr. Rieger, I'm going to pose two job candidates for you. And I want you to pick among them. The first one, good grades can't write. The second one, OK grades can write. Why might Josh go with number two? Because taking law school exams is not really going to help the children. Exactly. He's not hiring you to get grades. That's not part of the agenda of the Child Advocacy Clinic. We don't really value or we don't really we are not really helped out by grades when we're representing clients. And particularly with Josh, he's got a JD and a PhD. He's got enough grades. He's had grades all his life, surplus of grades with this guy. What he needs is somebody who can draft motions, who can draft complaints, who can write emails to clients that they can actually understand. And so we could focus on even more less about the grades and more of he doesn't want to rewrite your stuff. What do I mean by that, Mr. Rieger? Because they're not going to submit something that's not excellent. And so someone's going to have to make it excellent. And if it's not you, it's going to be him. Yeah, and that's not a good position to be in. If you are an underling and you're sending material to your supervisor that they have to spend time out of their day rewriting, that's a fast track to mediocrity. If you want to be mediocre in your life, here's a good formula. Hand in bad work. That's a real good way just to be mediocre, never get promoted, never have anybody want to work with you. That's a great way. It might be even a fast track to unemployment, but really concentrate on this. Think about what are you doing to produce work for the people on your team, particularly in your early stage, the people above you. Because as Mr. Rieger said, someone needs to rewrite this. Someone needs to get it to the client. And if it's taking time out of Josh's day, that means he's taking time out of his other obligations and endeavors. 